Hi, it's Angelina from Sparkling Diva with another reading for you. Uh, this time it's on uh, Have I Really Let Go of My Ex? Uh, because oftentimes you think you let go and then all of a sudden you find that you're back in pain. And you know, so that's why I did this reading Have I Really Let Go? Uh, four uh, stacks of cards, uh, one, two, three, four. The first one is Black Obsidian. It's a sleeping cat, but I'm not sure if you can see that. But anyway, I felt like one of them had needed a black stone. So this is Black Obsidian. The second is a, a rough chunk of Rose Quartz. The third is Amethyst. It's got a few lovely rainbows in it over here, but I'm not sure if you can see it was difficult to tell and yeah, I don't know why, but for the fourth uh, there is a silver bell <laughs> for some reason or other uh, it wasn't supposed to be a crystal so a silver, tiny silver bell so please make your choice then I will start the reading very soon after I've taken a sip of water Right, uh, I'm going to start. If you haven't made a choice yet, then please pause the video. Uh, for number one, uh, let's see what we got. Uh, I have a couple of questions. So, uh, the first card is how far you have come with letting go, and then we have the never ending story. Uh, and it actually says that you're um, still in the um, uh, ego story, so to speak, that you tell yourself, like, you, uh, oh, I can never find someone, and uh, I won't ever find someone like this again, and I'm not worthy, and blah, 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 all that ego stuff, like, you are still a bit uh, stuck in that stage where you do that, and, and basically these stories from the ego are never-ending stories, and if you um, give that power, uh, yeah, well, then it, it might just get worse. So that's, um, yeah, you're still stuck in that a bit. Maybe thinking indeed that you will never find someone again or, th you know, that sort of thing. Or that you're not worthy. Because the second question is what you still have to let go. What is still there for you to let go. Then we have the Three of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. And I feel that... Um, with these, um, let's see, yeah, I feel rejection here. I, I, I actually think that uh, the three of, of chalices is happiness and and um, uh, harmony and pleasure and fun, enjoyment, celebration. I get a feeling that if you chose this, that you were actually either feeling that way or you were seriously involved and maybe engaged, uh, maybe you were married, I don't know, but uh, that you really felt that everything was um, in order and, and it was in order, it was not that you thought that. For a while it was really in order and you were really comfortable in it, enjoying it, and, but then in the end um, you, f you felt like that woman here, like the beggar. And she's not wearing a nice dress anymore. She's just, you know, and kind of begging the other person, like, yeah, but please. And and as, as I feel something happened that the other person ended the, the relationship, and that you really, yeah, you were really hurt by that. You really hurt by that. You you didn't want that. You wanted them back, and you felt rejected. And uh because all of a sudden you lost this, these three of cups, where you were happy and celebrating and wearing a nice dress and dancing and singing and and then all of a sudden you were in that beggar position. And that's still, you, you're still stuck with that a bit. That's why you probably are also still telling yourself these stories, these, these ego things and, you know, like, um, yeah, what, but I just said, well, I'm not ever going to find this again and, uh, what have I done wrong, that sort of thing, is also ego stories that you shouldn't tell yourself. 
And um, how can you um, get out of that? Now let's first focus on what you already let go of. What you've already let go of. That's the sacred pool, uh, which is reflection, rest, uh, looking at yourself, finding out, like uh, looking in a mirror, basically, and then, uh, yeah, seeing what, what you, whether you actually like yourself, how you feel about yourself. So you have already needing rest to recuperation, uh, time out. So y you've already done a lot of work. You have done a lot of work already. Because also, this is how you uh, can recover and get over these these, these feelings of rejections and and uh, f uh, being left in the cold and telling yourself these ego stories. How you can stop that is the cone of power, is energy. And um, th that's about focusing energy. Uh, also about action, this is a very fiery energy, uh, goes with the solar plexus too, so solar plexus is also self-confidence, self-healthy, self-esteem, knowing what you want, what you stand for, standing in your power, so then you are out of this situation, right, but this, this is also, uh, yeah, focusing, action, so this could mean that uh, it's time for you to to take action now to stop uh, the the resting, the recuperation, and uh, because that could also keep you stuck in these thoughts, right? If you if you if you're constantly not doing anything much, uh, then it's very easy to get lost in these thoughts of 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 lack and loss and not being good enough. It's time for action now, but you must be careful that you do not wear yourself out. Right, so don't overdo it either. But it is time for action that will help you to get over it and um, yeah, to find your feet again. So I hope that resonates. So you're still recovering, but you've already done work, quite a lot of work. But you have to stop these ego stories because you are worthy, you are good enough, and um, yeah. Just tell your ego to basically shut up every time you you find yourself thinking these things and listening to that inner voice. It, it, the ego is very difficult; it hardly ever stops. But you know, you, you just yeah, start doing things, start having fun again, enjoying life. That will help to uh, to recover from it. And I'm going to move on to the second uh, again. Um, where are you at the moment on letting go and then we have uh, the blessed card but then reversed it came out reversed and that actually means that um, you're also still sort of hanging on but you've hit uh, rock bottom and the only thing you can do right now is um, is surrender just completely surrender and uh, like what it says in the book as well uh, to be who you need to be you can no longer do what you did so you have to really let go and surrender even if that means that you, you will feel the hurt again but at some point you, you will have to just face the music so to speak you cannot keep avoiding it so you really have to surrender not resist it and what uh, must you still let go of and we have the Six of Chalices and the King of Atamis, the King of Swords. Let's see, I think that's clear. Um, this is nostalgia, looking back at what you lost and what you had and how good it was and looking back. And the King of Atamis is, uh, yeah, a lot of things, but I feel here it's saying that you want to control the situation, but you cannot. You can't control the situation. You have to surrender. That's what this card said, right? You have to surrender. Let go of the control. And 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 yeah, you're still looking back too much, maybe as well. Yeah, longing for that to come back, but that is out of your control. You have to let that go. And that's keeping you stuck still. Uh, 
um, what you already uh, have dealt with in this situation is being stuck in the mud. Uh, stuck in the mud is about uh, time to rest and recuperate and not a time for action and you can't really do anything yet, you know, that's what you've dealt with already, you, you've had that, you've dealt with that, so, y you know, you don't have to be stuck anymore, uh, because that's already in the past, and what you can do now to um, get to the, you know, get through letting go, uh, truly letting go faster, then we have the cloak and the high priest from my wicker deck, and uh, the cloak is about um, yeah, that you still have to be a bit careful. You still have to protect yourself because you're not completely uh, uh, balanced, com not really uh, found your feet yet, you're not completely strong you're in, at your normal strength yet, so to speak. You're still vulnerable, so you have to protect yourself still. It is also says that you have to be uh, careful uh, because uh, um, because you are vulnerable and not completely uh, empowered, no, no, not empowered in your strength yet. You haven't found your feet yet. It makes you vulnerable to people um, who could take advantage of you, and you might not really uh, realize that when that happens that these people are not uh, serving your highest good. So you have to be a bit careful still. But you can take uh, action, uh, this is the High Priest, it's a masculine energy, and uh, uh, the High Priest in ritual used to support the, uh, the High Priestess, uh, so in, in uh, your inner masculine energy uh, also supports your feminine energy, and that you need to balance still, so then you get stronger, then you can lose the cloak, and then you, you know, so that's what you have to work on still. You still have to do some inner work. So you can take more action, you can go out a bit more, you don't have to be stuck anymore, because you've, you've had that, that's behind you, so you can go out, but you have to still be a bit careful. Don't, you know, don't go nuts, so to speak, right, because you have to find that inner balance, so that the inner masculine, your inner masculine, can support you properly and protect you. And and uh, this is also the masculine energy also helps you to take action, to make decisions. But when you're not balanced, when it's not properly balanced yet, yeah, then, then you're kind of lost. So you still have to be a little bit careful, but you can go become a bit more outgoing again. That will help you because that's what we ask. What can help you to get through this, right? So that can help you. you just have to be a little bit careful. And it will also take your focus off your mind of this nostalgia, this looking back and, uh, you know, if you start doing things again, go out a bit more and take it, you know, just do things again a bit more. Maybe socialize. Just be careful. Don't fall for the first guy that you meet and, and uh, you know, who sweet talks you and all that stuff. Be careful. Um, then I'm going to move on to number three, the amethyst people. Let's see what we got here. Um, where you are right now when it comes to letting go. Uh, it was to the sea, but it came out reversed, which means um, that it's also not really a time for action. You can't really do anything other than go with the tides and, and uh, accept that as well. Don't resist it, don't fight it. Even when the, uh, like the book says, like uh, when the tide is going out, then accept that. You know, life has an ebb and flow to it, and you just have to go with the flow. And uh, there was this, it's, uh, I can't memorize that, I have to read it out. An ancient marina saying applies to you now. When fishermen cannot go to sea, they stay home and repair their nets. So this is a time, you know, not, not really a time of action. You still have to recover and, and yeah, get clarity. That's what I feel, clarity. Let's see what, what still remains, what's still blocking you. Uh, we have the Ace of Cups, the Wheel of the Year, the Wheel of Fortune, and 
the uh, hanged man, the oak king. And I'd say this is quite positive. I think you've already done quite a lot of work, to be honest. Because this is about um, um, finding happiness and acceptance within, in yourself. And also going with the flow again, right? Just the, the wheel always turns. And sometimes you have good times and uh, good times and there's bad times and or less pleasant times. Just going with the flow like this card as well, the uh, the first card that came out for you. Uh, but I feel you're doing that, that you are learning to find this acceptance about what happened and going with the flow and, and with the changes, go with it, and that you're learning to love yourself more. The Ace of Cups is also about uh, self-love, and you're, you're doing that, you're working on that. The Hanged Man uh, let's see if I can get that in view for you. He's drawing a infinity symbol on the ground with a stick he's holding, and that is about balance, inner balance, and and proper flow. Again, the flow, this flow. And, but you're doing that. You're you're finding out about that, and you're taking your time because this is not a fast card, the oaking, the the hanged man. But that's all right. That's all right. I I feel you're doing quite well. I feel you're doing quite well. I feel that you are doing this, that you are learning this. And that is good. That is really good. And um, how can you speed that up, so, uh, so to speak? Then we have the chalice, fertility, which is peculiar, that, that because we had the Ace of Cups. Well, these two cards, this is not a tarot deck at all, but it is very similar. <laughs> it's, it's almost like the Ace of Cups. Right? And uh, So what you can do indeed to help this process along is what you're already doing is um, filling your cup with self-love, um, seeing that uh, the world is great, life is nice, beautiful, there's rainbows of white dove, the sun is shining, and going with the, f again, the flow, right? This is all about flow, the river going with the flow and not like the salmon uh, upstream. You're not doing that. You're not doing that. And and, and that helps. That helps you get over this and get through this uh, much better, faster. I feel with you, I even feel my solar plexus relax right now, which is quite peculiar because I wasn't aware it was tight. <laughs> but... I feel you are quite far through this entire letting go process, far along. You're doing really quite well. Because you are doing this, because oh, here, what was still the work that you still had to do, we also have this, the Ace of Cups, the Chalice. You're doing this. And you're okay with it as well, because it, the, the old king, uh, let's see if you, I'm not certain if the camera focuses, I don't know. He, he's content. He, he's not in any hurry. He, he's just okay with being where he is. And he's just doing the work. So I think you're really doing well. And that's great because then at some point this, this, the, 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 the tide will come in again, right? And then you can, then it's time for action. This is quite good. This is just taking your time to heal. What you already left behind, also wonderful, sad embrace from the Enchanted Map deck, but it came out reversed. Reversed is, is worse, so to speak. It's about uh, victimizing yourself, holding on to uh, sadness and pain and feeling sorry for yourself and all that stuff. But this is what you were left behind. You've had this, uh, you've worked through that already. And now you're you're working on your self love, accepting that you can be happy on your own and by yourself, and accepting it. And you know, so this is really good. This is really good. Yeah. Please let me know because I wonder if you chose three, if that truly resonates with you, that you really feel that you are indeed uh, on your way out, so to speak, of this letting go of your exing almost as if you indeed feel ready that you're uh, 
feel ready for someone new. Uh, number four, the bell. Uh, where are you when it comes to letting go here and now? So, uh, yeah, not don't look back to the past, don't look ahead to the future just yet. It's too early, it's not going to help, you have to be in the now, in the here and in the now. Now that is always important, but I think that means that you also still have some work cut out for you, that you're also uh, not completely through this, over it yet. But well, let's see what the other cards say, because I'm not entirely sure. Uh, what you still have to work on, um, then we have the uh, Four of Atamis and the uh, Nine, I'm looking up a message that I felt was important, the Nine of Pentacles and <coughs> Four of Atamis, Four of Swords is indeed um, yeah, still needing time to think about it and to rest and to recuperate and uh, you're not ready yet and I feel that has to do with that you actually felt the Nine of Pentacles that you were about in this relationship uh, that, that, that that is over, that you're trying to get over that you felt that it was time you were getting to the stage where you could uh, harvest you know, reap the uh, 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 the fruits of your labor, of everything that you put in, that you were getting to this happy place where where everything would work out, and and uh, then it all fell apart. And now you are uh, recuperating, resting, recovering from that, and also finding uh, this place where you can be happy on your own again. I feel that resonates stronger. So I suppose for most of you that is the, the message, that you are recovering, but that you are finding the uh, this place where you can be just happy by yourself, enjoy life by yourself. But yeah, if that's true, if that rings true, then you're likely also quite <coughs> um, far in this process, but it's still gonna take time. You're not there yet. It's still gonna take time. Uh, uh, how can you speed it up, so to speak, or what will help you uh, with this process? And we have the spider and the owl. And the spider is about. Um, I think that does tie in with this. What I just said. I think. With uh, yeah, harvesting the fruit of your labor. Because this is about uh, changing habits, changing patterns, weaving a new web. Uh, so your own web, right? Your own thing, not not the relationship web anymore. Your own web with new threads of 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 what you want and hope for and dream about what you want to achieve, and also not feeling trapped. And uh, it, 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 this can also mean that you you felt uh, you've been in a sticky place and felt trapped, but then you can let go of that. You can now begin to weave a new web, your own web, and with the yeah, well, like I said, the, the threads that uh, represent what you want and how you want it, which is what you're thinking about with the swords four, Atami's four. And the owl means, um, yeah, that you've 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 gone through a quite dark period, a quite difficult period, but uh, you're being guided. If you listen to your intuition, you are being guided, and uh, you will find your way again. Then you will get that key, the key up here, and the lock, and then you can turn the key, and doors will open, and yeah. So that that will help if you focus on, the, on uh, listen to your intuition, your guidance. There is guidance, and slowly begin to weave a new web, 
and, and lose habits and patterns and also thought patterns and stuff that do not serve you. Yeah. And what you've already left behind. Now this is really actually a positive card. The field of dreams. I think that you, uh, this means in this case with the reading that you uh, left behind uh, most of the dreams and hopes and plans for the future that you had with this person, with your now ex. Um, and maybe you have, after you broke up, spent quite some time um, fantasizing about those things and, and losing yourself in all these things that you were planning and hoping to manifest and, and get. And it's a bit, a bit yeah, fantasizing, daydreaming and losing yourself in all these things. And If that is true, then, then you've been through that. You're a bit more realistic right now. So, yeah. But in, a, in any case, yeah, you, I do feel you've come quite a long way as well. Because, yeah, you did lose something and, and uh, this place where you thought you, you, you could, you know, benefit from everything that you invested and what you'd build up with this person. But I also feel very strongly that you are close to finding happiness being on your own. Finding peace inside. And then you can begin to weave this new web. Which will uh, bring you new things and a new life and happiness. and Yeah. So I think you're quite doing quite well for yourself. I hope this helps. So please let me know. Give me some feedback if there's uh, uh, any questions. And also let me know. This person, two to number three. I also feel you are doing really well. Numbers two, they're on the mend. But, um, yeah, there's still work to be done. You have still quite a lot of work to be done. But you are on the mend. And a similar thing for the numbers one. So in that sense, it's it's not that bad at all, right? Everyone is is doing their thing and is on the mend and and yeah, taking action. There's no one that is like will um, <laughs> get going, do something about it. Everyone is doing something regardless of what number you chose. So yeah, I hope it resonated. So please leave me some feedback, and uh, then I'll be back soon with another reading for you. Wishing you a lovely day and a uh, or a wonderful evening. It's evening over here. I'm going to watch a movie <laughs> and enjoy myself. Put my feet up and uh, wishing you a lot of love and light. And uh, well, speak to you soon. Bye.